What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're doing another iteration of the Ghost Pour. Um, so we have a gold from Pebio. This is only Artist Loft Pouring Medium and Gold, one-to-one -one mix. This is the Flow Acrylic Black Flow Trawl to paint, one-to-one -one mix. The new change that I did to the white is one part Deco Art san Satin Enamels, one part Master's Touch Titanium White, in the tube, one part GAC 800, and one part Floetrol. So with that, let's get this experiment underway. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. My cat is not happy that I'm in here without him, but he will be okay trying to fill in some of these voids it's a little bit of a wider canvas than I typically use so I'm just making sure I have enough paint to cover the whole thing and we do all right so what I found is it's works better for me if I put down the white first let me get rid of some of these bubbles There's still some. One tip that I'd give you guys, mix your colors a day in advance. I didn't do that. Wish I would have, but I did not. All right, so this is that deco art concoction. And I know I'm gonna end up stretching this. So, the majority of the paint that I put on here I'm gonna want it to be towards the center. But yeah, this this different mix does a little bit more of a cloud looking uh, dispersion towards the edges has a lot of a shadow to it, and I enjoy that. But I'm glad I'm bringing you guys along on my creative experiments, because that's what this is, basically. I tried mixing some other metallic colors, and what I have noticed with all the metallics that I used, if I go into the black at all, it spiders out kind of like a fractal. Now, that's a cool look, but that's not what I'm trying for right now. So right now, I'm just gonna layer a little bit of gold inside the white. And hopefully, we don't get any of those really weird looking fractals. It's very surreal to me that I will be in Arizona in about a month. And that that will be home. I'm very excited for it. Looking forward to possibly meeting a bunch of you in the comment section too. There's a lot of you that said that you've lived there your whole life or you lived in Tempe or close by. It's gonna be really cool to get to interact with you guys. I'm like trying to keep my hands steady, but too much caffeine. All right. Well, I think that's a pretty decent start. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so I was gonna do similar to what I did last time. I'm just gonna use a smaller tool to kind of bring some excitement and motion to this 
because right now it just looks like blobs of paint. So churn it around. And then maybe put it right in the middle there. Now you see where that gold is touching the black? You're gonna see those patterns there because there was no way for me to not drag it through, unfortunately. But, all right. I think right now I'm ready to spin it. I feel like we are gonna have some negative space because it's gonna grow, but it's not gonna grow huge. Hold on, that's not where I want it. I'm shifting it closer to me, so that way on either side it's about the same, on those sides it's about the same. And then let the spinner do most of the work for me. It already looks really cool and I can't even really see it very well, but it like already in my head looks really cool. Oh wow. And around those gold edges, it is doing that fractal stuff in some spots. Well, that was quick and easy, you guys. <laughs> what the heck? I love how ethereal it is. There is some really nice fine lines, but then there's also that cloudy puffiness to it. So let me bring you guys down. I want you guys to check it out with me. So I am very happy with the way this came out. All the white areas are really light and feathery, and then the gold is just providing all that beautiful shimmer and shine. And there's so many just tiny little details throughout this entire piece. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.